What's up guys, my name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can create realistic motion blur for moving objects within Premiere Pro. Now this isn't blurring a video or anything else like that, it's blurring actual motion that you animate using keyframes in Premiere Pro. So we'll start by creating a simple sequence. And then we'll start by also creating a couple of shapes. So we'll go color mat, make it white for our background, drag and drop it in. And then we'll also add another color mat, which will be an object that will move around. Obviously, this can be an image or anything for that matter. Let's drag and drop it onto the layer above and we'll adjust the dimensions so it's a little bit smaller. Then you'd usually animate the position, scale and rotation up here. But if we go ahead and change them, you can see that going backwards and forwards in the footage, there is absolutely no motion blur, especially if we blow it up nice and big. So let's get rid of these keyframes, move back to the beginning, and then next under the effects window, at the very top up here, type in T-R-A-N-S-F, and you should see a transform appear under video effects, distort, transform. Drag and drop it onto the object you want to animate, and here you'll see anchor point position, scale, skew, rotation, etc, etc, that you'd usually animate up here. So we'll animate position, scale, and rotation. We'll move forwards in time, move the object, add a bit of rotation, and we'll also scale it down a bit. So if we go backwards and forwards, you'll see that there is no motion blur. Strange. Well, not really. There's an option at the bottom here that says use composition's shutter angle. Uncheck this, and at the shutter angle below it, change it to a high number like 320. It goes up to 360, but 360 is the same as zero, so I'll set it to 320. The higher this number is, the more motion blur there is. The motion blur isn't too obvious here, so let's go ahead and exaggerate the movement by making it a lot quicker. A bit of weird behavior with reversing there, but I assume that's just a glitch. I've nested it and it seems to have fixed it. So we'll just make this a lot quicker. And you can see that there is quite an obvious motion blur effect happening here. If we make it even quicker, reverse a bit, you can see that there is a very obvious motion blur. When you play this motion, it's very smooth. Obviously I'm recording, so this isn't too smooth. However, this will be very smooth and it'll look great for any kind of motion. So instead of animating motion up here in position, scale, and rotation, make sure to do it down here with the transform effect and changing the shutter angle. You can of course also change the sampling to bicubic from bilinear if you'd so wish. Next, you might ask, why don't we apply this to an adjustment layer? And here's exactly what happens when you do that. Let's create an adjustment layer and add it to above the shape. We'll cut the transform and paste it onto the adjustment layer, and you can see that it affects the entire video. Anything below this adjustment layer will be affected by this transform. Of course, if this is your desired effect, then you might want to go with using an adjustment layer, otherwise add it directly to the object you want to move. Anyways, that's about it. My name is Min Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I wish you luck in your future Premiere Pro video creation. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.